Okay, good evening everyone. Good to see everyone here. Hi, good evening Christopher. We meet in the evening again. Good evening everyone. Hi Joyce, Bryce, Fok Hoy, William. Hi Susan. Okay, today we're going to cover an interesting topic. We're going to cover about insider buying. How many one here want to know about how to follow what super investor are buying? How many want to know that? If you want to know that, type super investor. How many want to know who are the it what are the what are the insider? You know, who are, what are the insider and what stocks are they buying? Give you want to find out. Uh, what stocks are they owning, okay, uh, or what they are buying, okay, type in Super Investor too. Okay, so good. Good to see everyone here. Okay, today will be split into uh, two parts, okay. I want to share with you all why uh, sometimes if US stocks, uh, US stocks is much better than uh, Singapore stocks. Mm, give me a second. Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Yes, ah, uh, okay, some say no sound. I think the image is having some issue, but uh, the voice can hear, right? Okay, good. So we go to this uh, site, okay, sgx.com. This is for Singapore stocks, sgx.com. Okay, I'll show you from the start. Huh? So when you log into sgx.com, this is the website. And then you go to company information, okay? Company information, then you go to company announcement. Okay, this is quite tedious, huh? okay? This is just Singapore stock, so much, so tedious, okay? So after that, after you go to this place, you go to announcement. Okay, Singapore stocks, you go to announcement. Then you look for, uh, what is this? Disclosure of interest or change in change in interest. Okay, go to this one. Okay, I think they improved the website. Huh? Okay, go to this one. And from here, you can see the whole list based on the dates, based on the latest date over here. Uh, these are the stocks that have uh, change of interest. Okay, 30th April, uh, uh, 30th April, you can go downwards, 29th April, and stocks like that. Okay, so you have based on this. Say, example, you want to choose a particular stock. Let's say I want to look at AEM. If you want to look at AEM, what is the buying for AEM? Then I can see that, oh, they have been actually doing some. Uh, buying okay let's how do you know it's buying okay you need to go in inside to see okay let's say example we have this 
changes in interest in the CEO. Okay, CEO of course is important. Yes or no? Okay, you go go down and then you check what is their interest, and from there you scroll down and you look at these two things. Okay, from here you look at uh changes change in respect to the ordinary vote shares of the listed issuer. Be immediately before the transaction, this person, what, what is this person's name? Uh, and there's a name, okay? Look for the name of this person, AM Holding, um, is the company. The person is Lok Wai San, okay? Who is Lok Wai San? This is the director or the CEO of the company. And what happened is on this uh, date, right? He actually did a transaction, he bought about, uh, 300,000 shares, okay? 5 million to uh, 5.9 million, 5.6 million to 5.9 million, okay? So from there, you can see a trend, okay? If 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 you can actually go down and you can go inside and see what is the trend, what is, uh, who is buying all these shares, okay? The CEO, okay, this is just now was uh, over, just now was over here, 1st of April, AM bought shares, okay? How about here again? Okay, 18 of March. Go to the same thing again. Go to this. You can see this 18 of March. And then from there, you can scroll down. Who is this person? Uh, James To Bei Liang. These are either director or C CEO, right? And then what is their shares? Okay, so from here, 13 million. Wow, they buy 100,000 shares. Okay, of of this company AM. Okay, so go down and you can check what is happening to the share of this company. Okay, so why is it that they buy their own share? Okay, first thing first, they have to declare yes or no. Okay, they have to declare their shares. But uh, insider, right, when they or, or uh, either people are directors and shareholders, right, they can buy their share. The only thing is they must uh, disclose. Okay, they must disclose that they are buying the share, okay? So uh, why they buy share? Okay, I don't know, okay? Maybe they find that the company is good, it's undervalued, so they continue to buy the share. So what are the things to look, look up for when you look at <coughs> people buying uh, shares of their own company? Number one is you want to look for uh, number of shares, okay? The number of shares they bought, okay? If the bigger the amount, of course, then the, the more significant it is. Okay, the second one is also to look at their salary, okay? The salary, uh, why? Because big or small amount really depends on what is their salary, okay? What is their uh, remuneration, okay? Then from there, if the ratio, right, is let's say, example, they earn, let's say, $250,000, right, uh, uh, a year, okay? And they are buying like 500,000 worth of stocks today, you know, then that will be significant, yes or no? But let's say this person earn 10 million and he buy $100,000 worth of shares, I think that is not so significant, okay? So these are more of insider uh, buying, okay? These are insider that are buying their shares, okay? Of course, you have like people like UBS and uh, other companies, okay, that buy their shares. Okay, is this share buyback? This is not share buyback, okay? So this one is more of the individual, okay? Like that's not the... Uh, Mr. Lok or Mr. Lim or James or whatever, they are buying for their, under their own name. Do you follow what I'm saying? They are buying under their, for themselves. Okay, they are not buying for the company. Okay, a share buyback is different. Okay, a share buyback is when the company, the whole company, okay, decided to go through this, uh, this, uh, this uh, exercise uh, to buy back their shares. Okay, sometimes they feel, hey, I, I, the company is earning money, but uh, this money, extra money they are earning, they cannot reinvest elsewhere. They cannot grow their companies. They cannot grow their business anymore, but they have still generating uh, cash flow. Then what they can do, they can decide, okay, in order to add value back to the shareholders, one way is I can expand my business. Okay, I can use the earnings and uh, grow my business or I can use my earning to acquire business or another way to increase shareholder value is really for the company itself to uh, buy back their own shares. So when a company buy back their own shares, okay, there are less shares in the market, okay, if the earnings is still the same, 
Okay, if the earnings is still uh, um, earnings is still uh, the same, then uh, then the less share outstanding, then of course, then their earning per share will will go up. Okay, they'll increase their their so called their ratio or the value of their shares. Okay, because earning per shares meaning to say that if the earnings is the same, but the number of share outstanding after they buy back the shares, right? After they buy back the share, there are less share outstanding, right? Then what happened is the earning per shares goes up. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, that is uh that is share buyback. Okay, for OSIM is different. Okay, OSIM is a totally different thing. OSIM is when the shareholder, let's say example, now now I am a, I started I listed this company. Okay, and nobody appreciate my company. Okay, and the shares are traded in the market. Okay, the shares is traded in the stock market, but nobody appreciate my shares. Okay, the, my my share price is very uh, low. Okay. Then the major shareholders, uh, the major shareholder or shareholders can decide to privatize, okay, to delist their share. Okay, that's a different thing again. Okay, that is the person himself decided now I want to do a, a offer, okay, to buy back everyone's share and delist the share. Okay, I want to privatize and delist the share. That is another different thing again. So we have uh uh uh, uh, privatization or delisting, we have privatization, okay, and then we got like share buyback, and then we have uh, insider buying. All three are different things. Okay, if you understand, type yes. Okay, these are all different stuff. Okay, I didn't, uh, I thought we are not going into all this stuff. Okay, okay, so there are many reasons they, they, they. Privatize their shares. Okay, number one is if they feel that the shares is undervalued. Okay, that that is can be one. Okay, so if you adding value, can you uh instead of typing yes, can you give me a a like button or a heart button? Okay, heart. Okay, or like. Well, who is angry with me? Uh? serenely angry with me. I didn't say anything. Okay, give me a like button. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, so let's come back again, uh, insider buying. So this morning I shared, right, during our webinar, right? Uh, insider buy for many reasons, okay? They may be buying because they feel that the company uh, share is undervalued. They may be buying for show, okay? They are showing the rest that, hey, I'm a insider and I'm buying my own shares. So it can be for show for the other shareholders. So you must add, you must uh you must look at or you must uh decipher right this one is it for show or is it they really want to buy the shares because they feel the shares is undervalued do you feel what i'm saying okay just not one question how to find a salary you go to their uh annual report okay they will give you a ballpark of their under the annual report they'll give you a ballpark of how much they earn uh, every year okay you just need to do some digging okay that is in, that is for uh Singapore shares, okay? Um, and you'll notice, right, um, some companies uh, keep, some insider keep buying their shares, okay? Uh, they may also do like a, a coordinated, that means a five major shareholders, right? Okay, together we decide, okay, because let's say example, even though it is uh, public listed, right? They can still decide, okay, we together, uh, right now, each of us, one hundred thousand to buy the shares. Okay, do you follow? What I'm saying. Okay, it's a ballpark. Okay, ballpark. So you can decide what is the. Uh, they can do it together, coordinated. So sometimes, uh, the the directors can all the same time at the same time buy from the company. Okay. Any question? Okay, then you can do the same thing with the rest of your company, Singapore company here. Okay. This is more like insider uh, buying and selling, okay? Like what I say, many people, people buy shares for many reasons, but people sell, or directors or insider sell shares only for one reason. They sell shares only for, uh, to make money, okay? CFO, CEO, board members. Okay, uh, it's not so much of their job, okay? It's not so much of their uh, role, okay? Uh, but it's more of their shareholding, okay? Okay, next one is we go into Data Roma. Okay, this is another site where you can uh, follow the investor. This is free, okay? This is free. 
and this is uh, very useful, okay? So from here, you can see these are the portfolio updates. How to use this info together with Trader GPS? Uh, frankly, Trader GPS don't need, uh, okay? Of course, if you see that, uh, if you see that uh, this stock, right, AM, if it's rising, okay, and, 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 and not, is it this one? I think so, okay, AEM, right? If it's rising and then you say, oh, what was the reason, okay? It's breaking new high now, okay? Then from there you can investigate, but uh, don't confuse, okay? If you confuse, uh, don't confuse, uh, okay? Of course, if, you, if the share has a buy signal, at the same time, you also have insider buying that give you more confidence, yes or no? Okay? So over here, the portfolio updates, okay, these are the latest, uh, these are the lit these are all super investors okay they are all fund managers and the billions of dollars okay so these are the updates of their funds okay so we can let's say go into uh this is the first one and then you can click in and you can see this thomas garner okay markel asset management handle a portfolio of only five billion dollars only yeah okay and what is the portfolio? What is the holding of their shares? Okay, so you can. These are the shareholding. Okay, so from here you can see Berkshire, AB, Amazon, BlackRock, all the holdings of who? All the holdings of this super investor. Uh, of of this super investor. Got it? Okay, so you have an insight. Okay, guys, if they are a super investor, there must be a reason uh, why they are they are called super investor. Next thing you can go into here, super investor. Okay, you can go into super investor itself. This one, this one is based on the latest update. Okay, latest update. But you can also go into uh, the super investor and then you can scroll down. Okay, let's say Bill Gates. What is Bill Gates, what is Bill Gates uh, buying or what is Bill Gates holding? What's the top uh, 10 shareholders, shareholding? So from here, you can go in and you can share, you can see what is the their top 10 uh, shareholding for their shares, okay? So, wow, he owns 50 over percent of his portfolio is with Berkshire, okay? So this one billion and then these are the rest of the shares. You can also go and see Warren Buffett, okay? Not, not doing so well right now, okay? And uh, this is his hot, hot shareholding. Why is his major shares? Uh, why is his holding the, uh, why is his major? Majority of his portfolio, 30, almost 30% 30 is of Apple, Bank of America, Coca-Cola, Amazon, uh, American Express, Wells Fargo. These are his biggest holding, okay? This is his biggest uh, holding of shares. So his one is uh, only only 242 billion, uh, okay? Okay? Uh, Donald Trump cannot, uh, Donald Trump not super investor, uh, okay? <laughs> okay? Got it? Okay, so um, this website is called, uh, you can see here, uh, dataroma.com. Okay, it's a free website, okay, dataroma.com. Okay, then under Super Investor. Okay, so you can go to here and can share, see what are the shares they are holding. Okay, next is the activities. You can go to activities, you can see uh, what are they doing. So blue is buy, red is sell, okay. So now got more red or blue, okay? About half, half, uh, okay? Uh, some are more red, some are more blue, okay? So this is maybe the last quarter last year and first quarter this year, okay? The top buy and sell. Then this one is quite interesting, S&P Grid, okay? So far, any question? So far, is it good? Okay, you can have an insight to what are they holding. Okay, if you like what I shared, what I shared give me a like or a heart or a laugh, but not a angry face, okay? So next is this, uh, you go to here, ownership, okay, ownership. Then from here, you can see uh, Google, right, is the most owned stock, okay? Google, right, right now is the most owned stock. That means out of the all the super investor, right? Uh, uh, Google got 21 companies or companies, 21 super investors are actually uh, holding Google, okay? 
uh, Facebook, okay, we got 20, Microsoft, Wells Fargo, Banks of America. How, much, how come the same as the, almost the same as, maybe Google not, uh, but quite the same as uh, what Warren Buffett's holding. Yes or not? Okay. Got a lot of likes, okay? I feel so loved now. Okay. So this is the first one, okay, based on number of ownership, okay? You can also go to last quarter buy. That means last quarter, last quarter, right? Super investors, they are what shares are they or what kind of stocks are they buying? What kind of stocks are they buying? So can you see from here? Last quarter, Goldman Sachs, okay, is a stock that they are buying. Okay, the whole price is about one nine one eight two. Wealth Fargo is about thirty eight dollars. AIG is about uh, thirty nine dollars. So they even give you the price. Okay. From here, can you see? Uh, the website is just data roma okay it's free okay the free website okay so from here you can see Goldman Sachs right now is the most bought stocks over the last quarter a lot of people went to buy Goldman Sachs okay uh Wells Fargo financial again, okay. okay. AIG consider financial again, okay. So this this is insurance, okay. So you can see these are the most owned uh, stocks, okay. The most owned, uh, most bought stocks over the last six months. Oh, so over the last quarter, and these are the most bought stock over the last six months. Okay, so guys, if you want to do fundamental, one way is to go to a uh, course, right? that uh, is like $5,000 cost, right? To learn how to do value investing and things like that. Another way, uh, just follow what they buy. Uh. Yes or no? Huh? Makes sense, right? Because they buy the same stuff, right? Okay. Instead of just looking for that super gem, right? That nobody can discover. Why don't you just buy what the super investors are buying? Does it make sense or not? Okay, because when you find that super gem, super undervalued stocks that nobody discovered, the price may not go up. Okay, but when you look at all these stocks, they have institution holding, uh, holding or buying their stock, the chance of it going up is higher. There's institution, what we call institution sponsorship. Yes or no? They got institution sponsorship. Okay, so uh, if you read this book called uh, what's the book? How to make Money from the stock market. Okay, what kind of how, what kind of title is this? How to make money from the stock market by this person called William O'Neill. Okay, William O'Neill, right? He talk about institution sponsorship. Okay, so company need to have certain amount of institution sponsorship. Got it? Okay. And uh, so you can look at the last quarter. What is the buy? What they buy last quarter, they bought Goldman Sachs the most. Okay, what they sell, what stocks did they sell? Microsoft, Oracle, they sell the most. Okay, over the last quarter, they sell.
Welcome back. I think the insider is uh, the insider is trying to stop us from re revealing all this information. Okay, they are trying their best right now to uh, stop us so that the super investor are trying to stop us from uh, uh, knowing all these secrets. Okay, so they are. Their, their network is so big, right? They can even just turn on your turn off your Wi-Fi at will. So if it turn off again, then you know must be the insider, okay? Doing all this funny business, okay? Anyway, so coming back here, uh, super investor sellers, last six months, they are, these are the sellers, these are the, you all know it's a joke, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, these are the portfolio that are selling, okay? Next one is grand portfolio. The grand portfolio is, um, uh, grand portfolio. This is the holdings again. The super super investor. Okay, these are the what people are holding. Okay, and what is their percentage? Okay, this is basically data rumors uh, portfolio la. Okay, so this one I think not so important. Okay, insider, insider. You can go in and you can look at the insider over here. Okay, look at the insider. Just so you can see from here, right? Uh. That's this morning, the stock that I talk about. This morning, what's the stock I talk about? Uh, what's that one? ES, ESTC, can you see? ESTC, this morning, I talk about this. Yes or no? Oh, take a look at ESTC. Okay, over the last one year. Over the last, no, only one year, one year is too long. Maybe over the last six months. Okay, can you see what is happening? Jonathan sell, Kelvin sell, Boron sell, CEO sell, SVP sell. Everybody selling ah. Uh. Can you see that now? Okay. Chief Revenue Officer, okay, CEO, Chairman, also sell. Everybody selling, okay. But if you go and research on this stock, uh, in the research report, right, this stock is actually considered very good. Okay, go and do some research. Uh, this uh, quite good. Okay, can see. I wouldn't say they abandon ship, uh, but they they are not buying. Uh. Yes or no? Got it? Okay, even the last one year, maybe they may be, they may be taking profit or whatever. Uh, we don't know. Okay. But at the end of the day, if you feel that the if you feel that the company is good, okay, uh over the next one year, will you sell? And chances are you won't sell, uh, yes or no? Okay. But I think. Yeah, see all the way they are selling. Uh, all this, they've been slowly, slowly selling down their stock. So from here, you can go down and you can see uh, Microsoft. Okay, so you can go back and play around with this. Okay, guys. Okay, so how does this come into the whole picture? Okay, how does this come in the whole picture? So from here, right, then you can use this to guide you. Okay, so let's look at, look at Microsoft over the last one year. A director selling, CEO selling, uh, accounting officer selling, uh, everyone is selling. Uh. Oh, uh, okay, so, so, like what I say, right? People buy for many reasons, but people only sell for one reason, okay? They sell only because they, take, because they feel that they want to take profit or they want to, they can buy for many reasons. They want to show off and things like that, but they sell only for one reason. They sell because they feel that uh, they want to take profit or they want to sell. Okay, they are, they are not shorting, uh, guys. They are just, maybe they got shares at low price and things like that. I don't know. Okay, but these are the things they are selling. Okay. Uh, not small amount also. Uh, okay, so like this guy, okay, he's doing like how many? The amount is also over here. Okay, not small amount. Okay. Anyway, um, so I hope this is useful for you all. Okay, go into an insight of... Uh, uh, companies okay today we are talking about instead of just uh re looking at research report instead of just looking at uh going for a course you know uh not that is no good huh? okay mark that teach a course 
on fundamental analysis, but his way of teaching is really very different. Okay, he talk about PE ratio, but in a totally different way. Okay, he talk about uh, why. Uh, okay, I'll tell you his. Don't share a secret, uh, okay? But he has a different way of looking at price, looking at fundamental. Okay, not how most people look at it. Okay, that is the key. Okay. So is this week, is today's training useful? If it's useful, can you give me a thumbs up? Okay, so last thing if is, uh, please go and share, okay? Please share this uh, so that more people can benefit from this sharing. We are at, on our day, uh, day 16. Okay, wow, very fast, huh? For me, it's challenging, okay? Because I got other things to do too, okay? 21 days, don't need days, uh, 21 trading challenge. Okay, go ahead and share, go ahead and like this page or go and share this, put this hashtag in. Can I extend to 42 days? Wow, you know, uh, <laughs> just like the, uh, just like the, what is that called? The CB, right? I don't like to use CB, uh, the lockdown, right? Extend uh, now our uh, training also extend. <laughs> uh, no uh, don't don't extend it. It's challenging for me, okay. Frankly, it's challenging for me because uh, I have to commit the time and then like tonight, eight o'clock, I got training again. Just now I was off like four Zoom meeting before I before I four I uh, three or four Zoom meeting before I, I meet you all. Okay, so it's a lot of uh time. Uh. Okay, I may do one, I may do one um intro, maybe a five days thing, okay. I may do a five days uh, intro. Um, basically, is to talk about what is trading, okay? What is trading? Uh, because a lot of you don't know, okay? Hey, what is trading? What is investing? What is uh, what is basic stuff, uh, okay? Why the share price go up? Why the share price go out? Go down? Uh, what is interest rate? Things like that, okay? A lot of people still don't know all this stuff, even though they are like trading, uh, but they still do not know. A lot of these uh, things. Okay. Another one I want to share is maybe uh, uh, Akai. I don't really know much about China A share. Not, not that I don't want to share. Okay. Um, maybe another day, see, uh, maybe one of these days I'll talk about ABL. Okay. This can be uh, the ABL stock is uh, like, how to say, coffee shop talk again. Okay. It's not really, um, it's not really. Um, how to say it's not at it's 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 educational because you see really see behind the scene what's happening right but uh i don't think you'll use it uh, much okay so yeah things like trading what's trading what's investing why must you put stop loss yeah today today some people don't know why must you put stop loss why must you lock in profit uh why uh um why how does company work? Things like that. Okay. So these are the things that maybe I will do after. Let me take a break first. Okay. Let me take a break first. After the break, maybe I do a five days thing. Oh, yeah. I want to share with you all one more thing. I am doing this training. Okay. This one maybe not for free. Huh? Okay. Like Lee Hood is not for free. I'm going to do an e course, right? On um, what we call money flow. Okay. Insider money flow, okay. Insider money flow, but it's beyond all what I share over here, okay. Is um using um money flow, using fundamentals and uh, combine right to have a strategy, okay. Uh, likelihood this will not be a free thing, okay. Likelihood is a, a paid thing. I'm doing up the slides right now and things like that, okay. Uh, but uh, a lot of time, okay. I, I, Morning, I'm waking up. I'm doing, waking up early to do these slides. Okay, so uh, but it, th this one is uh, quite, 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 quite interesting. Okay, um, this why I call it insider money flow. Okay, so the idea is very simple. Follow what the insider is doing, lah. Yes or no? Okay, okay. Of course, you need to have some TA because insider also can be wrong. Okay, like uh, Ron Buffett just cut loss, right? All his Cut loss, okay. All his air, airline stock, he cut loss, okay. Uh, Kraft, he was also wrong, okay. So, um, so but if you combine your TGPS, okay, you combine TGPS with this, okay, then I think you have a, you have a very high chance of uh, 
making money. Okay, what is that? United Airlines stock, like United Airlines. Okay, things like that. Okay, can you see from here to here, right? If only Warren Buffett got trader GPS. Uh, okay, so <laughs> it's a seventy percent drop. Got it? Okay, so uh, things like that. Okay, like craft and things like that. Okay, so if you combine what you know now with Twitter GPS, it can save you a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Okay, and a lot, a lot of money. Yes or no? Am I giving you a value? Yes, give me heart shape or share with me, okay? Delta, yes, Delta is the, the, the next stock, right? Uh, Warren Buffett stock, right? Uh, Delta, right? Okay, can you see? Oh. This is, let's say Warren Buffett is long-term, not short-term trading, right? Long-term. Okay, look at this. Oh, weekly chart, right? Okay, short-term, speculation, shorting. Uh. Okay, this one is the down move. Okay, got it. One of the reasons why I don't do free uh, is free somebody, some people also don't want to practice, okay? Insider costs will be valuable okay not that this 21 day channel is not valuable lah, okay okay if not then thank you very much do share this uh post uh use this hashtag to share this i think will be useful ah yeah one more thing is for great for people who are not in our community i think majority are in our community right but for people who are not in our community or join our community go to this website colinsiao.com swb this is the place where you can join our uh, join our group, okay? For graduates, right? Uh, I think a lot of graduates here, okay? So if for graduates, uh, do you recommend them to join us? If you recommend them to join us in this community type, yes, I need your support, guys. <laughs> okay, if you recommend them to join our community type, yes. Thank you. Okay, Fat or Red. Thank you, Ricky, George. Okay, so guys, when other people make money, it doesn't mean you have to lose money. One, it's not like that. Okay, we can all make money together. The market is big enough. Won't have the whole world go and use trader GPS. Not possible. Okay, so we can all do it together. Okay, so thank you all so much for your comments. Wow, so many. Okay, uh, good. Okay. So thank you so much. Wow, overwhelming response. Thank you very much. Okay, appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you. I will do my best to add more value to you all, okay? Okay, if not, then thank you. Have a good day. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.